welcome back masters thank you all for watching i hope you guys had a great day my day was amazing fantastic had a lot of fun so right now i decided okay i'm gonna break down some markets and i'm gonna film it so today's video will start with Audi usd so the aussie dollar okay let's start from the monthly time frame as the higher time frame is always of greater importance the higher time frame direction you know is always very crucial a crucial part of of the overall structure so as we can see from the monthly structure we had a long downtrend here let me draw the line so you guys can see perfectly what happened here so we had a downtrend you know on the monthly a while back and as we can see things changed in this area from the downtrend you know things changed the trend was broken here the trend was broken here and the price left had another trend here After demand was created here from the break of the trend, it created an uptrend here, and then this uptrend was broken, creating a downtrend back into demand. So price left demand here, went up to this level, found supply in this area. So if we look left, we see that there was supply in this area. And went back into our demand zone here. So currently, as we can see from the curve, we're very low in the supply and demand curve. We are close to higher time frame demand. It has hit our demand level and price left our demand level. So higher time frame demand is in control and is low in the curve. And from our indicator, we can see, you know, it's low in the curve here. So let's go to the weekly time frame and see. So, as we can see, we had a downtrend here. Let me draw the line here. And things changed in this area where we have our demand level here. Hit our demand level perfect perfect hit and then left to call this era of supply here so demand was created here according to our concept when a trend line is broken you know demand is created here so we have demand in control here price started to go in an uptrend so let's go down to the daily let's go down to the daily so as we can see we have demand here we have our trend and we have demand created here you know price went up to call supply there to call supply there came back here created demand in this area creating a structural retest of this area stating that it's a possibility that it may break the highs you know that concept and that's what it did break the highs and we also have the concept of um a low here and a low here stating that we can draw an aggressive trend line and that's what we did here and the trend line was respected at each peak creating demand as it hits the trend line so as we can see here the trend line was broken you know after it found supply in this area 
you know, after I found supply in this area, price broke the trend line, creating more supply in this area instead of demand. So things have changed. Um, but this is just short term um, supply and demand being created. But we have to take in consider the bigger picture. We have to take in consider what's in control. Remember, our monthly demand is in control. Stronger demand level. So um, this could be short term. Let's go into four hour. So there, trend was broken here. We have our supply zone here. Supply was created. Price left, went back, tested our trend line and fell here. Found demand in this area continued up here. So we have a peak here and another peak here. So let's do something like this. So that's what we currently have, you know. That's what we currently have on all the USD. I do not want to make this video too long, so um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop this video here, and I wanted to do multiple markets, multiple markets in the videos, but. Um, I do not want to make these too long, so I'll end it here and I'll do previous, I'll do previous markets and some new markets in the next video. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys, um, enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next video.